Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft and today I wanted to talk about another Wix update that just came out earlier today. And this one isn't about HTP Wix, but this one is about Ribbon Wix. Uh, now this is something that I mentioned in the previous video and in a few videos before that one is with everything going on right now, all the shipping issues from overseas, a lot of products are getting hard to find and some are actually being discontinued, switched to new factories, which of course is causing problems for us, the candle maker. So the latest one to come out today is from Northwood Distributing. Uh, this one, if for anybody that uses ribbon wicks and these are a, w a wick that I actually wanted to try for the longest time and I just never ended up getting any but I'm on their email distribution list and I just wanted to share this one with everybody out there just in case you don't know uh, this is the statement that they made hello everyone we just wanted to share an update about our ribbon wicks and cottonwood wicks we know that many of you love these wicks and we are aware that we're one of the only distributors to carry them however we wanted to make you aware of a few manufacturing changes outside of our control that, that will affect the availability of these wicks in the future future. Ribbon Wicks. Unfortunately, the manufacturer that makes our Ribbon Wicks abruptly decided to close their business at the beginning of November and immediately stopped accepting new orders. We were not made aware of the manufacturer's decision until it was too late for us to stock up on additional wick. We have contacted the manufacturer to find the solution, but as of now, it is unknown whether Ribbon Wicks will be produced again in the future. What this means for our customers is that Ribbon Wicks will no longer be available once we have sold out of our current stock. This includes the 6-inch and 10-inch Ribbon Wicks in all three sizes small, medium, and large. Basically what this means is, is ribbon wicks are pretty much done at this point. So if you do have some, definitely keep them on hand. Uh, but this is gonna be a good time for you to start to transition into another wick if you solely use these wicks. Now onto the cottonwood wicks. The good news is that most of the sizes of the cottonwood wicks will still be available. The company that manufactures our cottonwood wicks has simply decided to limit the number of wick sizes that they produce going forward. Currently, Northwood sells nine different sizes of cottonwood wicks, the CW20, the 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, and 90. The cottonwood wick manufacturer has decided to discontinue the 60, the 70, the 75, and the 90 wick sizes. What that means for our customers is that once the manufacturer limits their size range, we will only be able to carry the 20, the 30, the 40, 50, and 85 wicks. And then they go on to say, uh, we understand how upsetting this is to hear. And again, this is not a, the company's fault, so definitely, Definitely reach out, try to get as many wicks from these guys as possible if you do use these wicks. Uh, but this is something that's happening to a lot of different companies. Uh, glass issues, they're very hard to get right now. Shipping is a problem with almost every single vendor that's out there right now just because it's so slow with everything coming in overseas. And then of course, they're uh, limited on-hand personnel in the warehouses to help ship this stuff out. So uh, the sales for these things are still going through the roof as far as like glass, oils, everything like that. But the people that are in the warehouses, I can only assume are very few from what they're used to having. So uh, people have no doubt, I've seen it too, as well as people out there on the Facebook group, delays in shipping times. And this is definitely a reason for that. Uh, so they go on to say, we understand how upsetting this is to hear. One of your favorite products is no longer available, especially during peak season, which is right now during fall and winter. Uh, peak season for candle makers. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this this change may cause on you or your candle making business. Despite ongoing efforts, we have been unable to find a way to keep these wicks in stock. We have limited numbers of each wick size, but we have temporarily removed our entire stock of ribbon wicks and cottonwood wicks from the website so that we can double check our inventory counts. We plan, and this is important, so anybody that uses these wicks, this is the important part right here. Uh, we plan on relisting our remaining inventory on November 11th of this year, once our inventory count is complete. So once, once they uh, go through, they make sure they count everything, they're gonna put them back on the website. So I would imagine it's gonna be kind of a mad dash for anybody that knows about this to really stock up on those wicks. So if you do use the ribbon wicks or you use one of the CW wicks that are gonna be going out, I would definitely recommend going to the website, paying attention, jumping on November 11th, uh, I, I mean, I have no affiliation with Northwood or anything like that, uh, no sponsor or anything like that. Uh, but for me personally, I stocked up on HTP wicks once I knew that they were kind of going out. So if you do use ribbon wicks, I would definitely take advantage of this, uh, get the last remaining ones that you can. I would definitely stock up. And then of course, on top of that, I would definitely start to look at other wicks. Uh, as with the HTP wicks that I was talking about the other day, I myself am I'm gonna have to get a new batch of those and retest all my jars, all my candles, 
the different waxes. And I would definitely recommend that people do the same with the ribbon wicks. Somebody that's been using ribbon wicks for a while may not know which wicks to basically transition into, which is another point I was trying to make in the HTP wick uh, video that I did the other day was always make sure that you know and you have a couple fallback wicks that you can go to. So if something is out of stock, you know that you can go from like an LX to a CD. Uh, and the same with the ribbon wicks. If, if you do use the ribbon wicks on everything, uh, it might be a little bit of a testing and a kind of a slow transition to get back into a different wick that's gonna fit for whatever jar that you're using. So it's definitely not the news that anybody wants to hear their favorite vessel, their wicks, their oils, or anything like that is discontinued, but it is something that happens in the candle community. So it's, it's just kind of one of those things you gotta roll with the punches and kind of move on. I know this isn't the typical video that I normally do, but I thought this was pretty big news and I figured I have a lot of people that watch this channel and definitely wanted to keep people in the loop because a lot of people don't pay attention to the emails. They just go to the site, they order their stuff, and they just kind of move on with their candle business. So I hope that was informative. I hope somebody out there watching this is aware that they're going to be moving those wicks and getting away from those. So definitely stock up November 11th. Uh, like I said, I would definitely get as many as you can and uh, kind of ride that inventory out until you finish your testing with new wicks. So if the video was helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps move the channel like up the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below, Facebook, Instagram, my website, the phone number. If you wanna text me any questions, uh, that number is 253-303-7968. And of course, if you haven't done it already, please jump over to the website, take a look at the eBooks. Uh, I have a bunch of different eBooks on how to make candles. And of course, subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching. Thank you.